What up, what up? This is Dane and Imi Feeder only me telling you how to get muscular development, right? So if you're sick and tired of being skinny and you just want to pack on some mass, whatever your situation you're in, I'm gonna be telling you the basics you really need to know in order to get muscular development, right? So a very big focus point for a lot of people and rightly so because everyone wants to pack on some muscle. So the first basics you need to understand are this. You need to understand sleep. I'm gonna start with sleep first because it's neglected all the time. Then nutrition and then training, right? Let's start off with sleep. I know this is not so interesting, but you need to know the foundation. If you're not getting enough rest per night, your workout's going to suffer and you're not going to be able to repair the muscle tissue. Here's why sleep's so important. Okay, so you spend like two hours, maybe a lot of time in the gym. You tear those muscle fibers, you, you eat right, you give the body its building blocks in order to repair that muscle tissue, eat a lot of protein, shit like this. And then you sleep like two hours a night or some insane number like this, say four hours. Um, is your body really gonna have enough time to repair this muscle tissue? Because in your sleep, that's when your hormones get spiked, where your hormones get regulated mainly, and that's where your muscle tissue repairs itself. So of course it does during the day, but in the sleep, that's the recovery period. So if your recovery is all messed up, then I don't know what you're doing. That's probably why you're not getting results in the first place. Now that could be mistake or solution number one to you. Number two, training. You need to understand that if you just sleep good, you eat good, you're gonna get fat, and you might be healthy if you're eating healthy, but you're not gonna pack on some muscle mass. So, so many training mistakes I see day in day out, so listen to this. First of all, on all the basic principles to build muscle are as follows, and shit, I can't believe how much value I'm gonna provide here. Basically, your main focus is just to increase your strength over a period of time, but that's not only what you need to do, because if you only want to increase your strength, you're going to be a powerlifter. You're not going to be jacked like a bodybuilder. That's why powerlifters and bodybuilders don't look the same. But what you want to do is increase your strength. Once you've increased your strength, so you do a strength cycle, maybe two to three weeks. There's a lot of different ways you can periodize this shit. But say two to three weeks, and after you do that, jump into a hypertrophy cycle, so the muscle building cycle, where you do like rep ranges of eight to 12, maybe eight to 15, and then once you hit that hypertrophy cycle, maybe take a deload. Once you're taking a deload, so just maybe a week off, maybe a few days off, depending how your body feels. And then jump back to the strength cycle. Now we're adding more weight and now back to the muscle building cycle. So you probably think, oh, okay, fucking, I'll get to the point. Okay, I'll get to the point. The reason being you want to increase your strength, then jump to the hypertrophy cycle is this. Basically increasing your strength gives you more capacity and allows you to work with heavier weights when you get to that building or muscle muscular hypertrophy phase which means you're lifting more weight under higher time under tension right because lifting say for three to five reps when you're strength training it's not going to be a lot of time under tension but eight to twelve reps on say higher weight will give you a lot more time under tension and a greater volume load so that's basically the basics you need to know about training just summed up right there if you have that knowledge you'll be able to pack on some muscle i guarantee here here's some more knowledge when you do your workouts or training programs, whatever you want to call this shit, include multi-joint exercises, also known as compound exercises. So many people want big arms, big chest, blah, 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 and they're doing this isolation bullshit. Okay, it has its time and place, but multi-joint exercises are so important when it comes to gaining mass. They're big body movements, involve way more than one muscle group, so make sure to always keep multi-joint exercises in your workout routine. If you have a workout routine with no multi-joint exercises, I don't know who the hell designed this shit for you because it's a shit program. Second is isolation exercises or single joint exercises. Like I said, they have their own time and place because if you're just doing big body movements but not isolation, you're basically a power lifter, right? You're not getting all the muscle fibers recruited and shit like this muscle damage. So keep that in mind. Now let's jump into nutrition. I'm telling you all the basics here about muscular development and you're lucky, man, I'm telling you. I've got a program coming out now. It's called Get Big Video Series or whatever I want to call this shit, but it's a new program coming out. It's video series. I dive into much more detail about all the stuff, right? I'm giving you a lot of value here, but in that series, there's a lot more detail. So anyway, keep that in mind. Anyway, so let's jump into nutrition. So first of all, you need to understand if you have your sleep and your training, all good it's good to go you have the foundation that's still good but how are you going to build muscle if you're working out you're getting a lot of recovery a lot of sleep but your diet is shit you're not giving your body the nutrition the building blocks in order to repair muscle tissue so you see what i'm trying to get it's like it's like a pillar or something with three 
pillars. You need to have all of them aligned in order to get maximal muscular hypertrophy. The one that you could probably get away with is the sleep though. I hate to say this, but sleep, sometimes when people sleep about six hours, they maybe can get away with that. Because if you sleep and you don't train, obviously you're not gonna get any muscle. So anyway, nutrition, you can never outwork a bad diet. This shit doesn't work. Nutrition, nutrition, nutrition. I'm not saying you have to eat healthy in order to gain muscle mass. You don't necessarily need to. I definitely recommend you do if you wanna live a healthy life. Or if you just wanna die in one or two years, go eat all the junk food you want in the world. No, I'm joking, but let's keep positive in here. So yeah, definitely keep your diet healthy. But what I'm gonna try and tell you here is, if you're really looking to gain mass fast, you can't take this approach that I'm gonna tell you. Eat food so high in calories, peanut butter, rice, pasta, this shit doesn't fool you. You can just keep a jar of peanut butter in your pocket or wherever you go, right? Just eat this shit all day, every day. Get the calories in, a lot of calories, especially if you're skinny. If you're really fat, obviously you're not gonna wanna eat a lot of calories. You're gonna be in a calorie deficit and if you're new, you can still build a bit of muscle. But your main focus when it comes to building muscle is a calorie surplus. This is basically just a positive energy balance. Without this, you're not gonna get any muscle or you might get a little bit, but it's not even, you probably can't even see the results. So keep that in mind. So nutrition, there we go, so simple. Just getting up protein, one gram of protein per pound of body weight per day. The daily recommendation is telling you to eat like 10 to 50% protein of a daily intake is a lot of fucking shit. I don't know who, why the hell that even exists. But anyway, I don't know why I'm swearing. But those are the three main pillars. What, what am I looking at? The three main pillars when it comes to muscular development. Speaking too fast because we're getting hype here. So number one, sleep. Get eight to nine hours of sleep. Get good recovery. I'm telling you, this is so important. It's neglected way too often. Number two, training. Use multi-joint, big compound movements. Get stronger with them. Then isolate those muscle groups that you really want to bring up here muscle from different angles, get all the muscle fibers recruited. Number three, you already know what it is, nutrition. Don't fuck up on your nutrition. Swore again, I don't know why I'm doing this shit. <laughs> I'm hyping, that's why. So your nutrition, get enough protein, get enough nutrients, get the calorie surplus and you'll be building muscle. You can be getting great muscular development. Now, if you've been watching the video to, to this point, I'd like you to leave a comment down below before I give you this last piece of value. Uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell if you like to get more value for myself. So one last thing to leave with is you're after muscular development, right? And that gives me the picture and I'm making a judgment here that you want muscles that are toned and defined, right? Because there's no use of really having muscles and you have a lot of fat. So in order to get muscular development, I recommend this for you. Go on a bulk for maybe five to six months, depending on how many years you've been training. If you just need, you can probably bulk for one year and you still won't gain too much fat. Once you've gained a good, excuse me, foundation of muscle, then we cut that, then we lose the belly fat. That's where we get muscular development that shows. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you already know what to do. I've told you before, like one second ago. More importantly, stay positive, stay smiling, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.